in this framework of mindful compassionate dialogue we're coming from this consciousness of i'm moving toward what's going to help with thriving in my life and by definition to move toward one thing means saying no to something else so just want to be clear that it's that for me boundaries is not just about saying no it's about discernment wise discernment which includes being able to say no or to negotiate or to be more direct about asking for what you need as well i think it's such an important piece of sense of self and it speaks to this a little bit in the gym mm -hmm. and i know from my own journey and experience how important it is to actually to be able to actually know what works for you and be able to stand in that in order to even or begin to access boundaries Mm -hmm. You know, coming from an enmeshed system, if you're constantly set to what works for most people or some sort of standard that one might imagine works for people and not actually connected to what we need, our sense of self, it, it makes setting boundaries difficult. Yeah. Oh, can we notice when we are in a situation where we're losing track of ourselves and our boundaries and how can we make that be a cue for us to come back, check in with ourselves, what's really true. I think for me, I do exactly what Dave's doing right now. <laughs> I just get very still inside. I might keep my eyes open often. It depends on the relationship. I get very still, I get very quiet inside. I take my attention away from that person and into my center because I know pressure can be a slippery slope to losing contact with myself. For me, when, when my boundaries are being crossed, my energy will kind of go up and out. So doing anything where I can make contact with my own body, um, mm. and just, maybe it's just putting pressure from one element to the other and appropriate in certain situations. Yeah. Anything that will help me feel me and feel grounded and connected to myself is, is helpful. And so with that, I might take a deep breath. Down. I really like recently I've been using micro movements hmm. because I tend to go into free. Hmm. And so just moving even my head a little bit or pulling my shoulders back helps to break some of that habitual uh, nervous system response that I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and someone's making a, a great point here that if we grew up in these situations in which boundaries were confused and absent and power over was happening, and then we're also usually needing to examine our own boundary crossing behavior. And, you know, I think what's really come to my rescue is brave friends. Brave friends who were willing to come up to me and say, that thing you did, that's not okay. Mm -hmm. And once that started happening, I, whatever I became friends with someone, I considered them my friend. I really let them know up front, look, I am dedicated to my own growth and transformation. And the most valuable thing you can do as my friend is tell me when I'm doing something that you think is not of service to my needs or the needs of someone else. Something that's been really helpful for me when I start to get stuck in shame around a miss I had with someone or when I violated someone's boundaries is just reminding myself, like, oh, I'm not perfect. I'm actually a human that has flawed and makes mistakes. Not to let myself off the hook or yeah, but just to own that there's not a perfect Sarah walking around in the world. That's going to be able to navigate every interaction perfectly. And then it's also really helpful, like Dave mentioned, 
to, for me to move toward when something like that happens. I really, I feel really regretful for that. And here's what I so one thing maybe I'll touch on here since the article is entitled being able to say no is this power over power under dynamic, which is often a huge part of psychiatrics. And so we kind of, we go in depth into those concepts in our boundaries classes and workshops. Um, but for, for right now, just to be able to really track the symptoms of going into a power under reactive state. Mm -hmm. So just from our framework that we move into these states of reactivity, it's not who we are, but once a little bit of that state comes up then sometimes it can trigger a deepening into that reactive state. So signs of going into power under and you guys can help me out here, but things like you start, your thinking starts to get fuzzy, um, anxiety, fear come up. You start to ask someone else what you think that you should do or ask others for their opinion or information rather than draw on your own. Mm. In the extreme case, you start to have a sense that you don't have a body or that you're far away or that you're very small, regardless of your actual physical size. What else are the signs and symptoms that you two recognize? Something that comes up for me when I start to go power under is kind of almost like this small idealizing idealizing the other yeah in front of me oh of course i'll do that or mm -hmm. yeah quick yeses yeah anything for you Bill? uh there's a certain amount of confusion that happens in my system mm -hmm. uh, again there's a there's a quality of not knowing what to do yeah is it going along with? Uh -huh. Almost like Sarah's saying, a placating or a desire to harmonize, or almost, okay, what do, what do I need to do here? Yeah, and I, you know, I would add there, I know anger often gets a bad rap um, in a lot of circles. But particularly with power under, anger is an often a sign that you're trying to break out of the trance of that smallness or lack of agency. So anger doesn't lead to skillfulness, but it is a energy that's trying, it's a survival energy trying to get you to move into taking care of yourself. So I know sometimes I see folks who have spent time in that reactive power under pattern notice anger come up and then immediately try and tamp it down with good reason right in situations growing up being angry when you're actually physically small can be really dangerous yeah. so a part of mm, breaking out of power under is often a survival part saying this isn't okay right and you feel some anger there 